In the last uh, few weeks, as part of uh, the 2013 uh, Edinburgh Iranian Festival, um, I've held a series of workshops, I've held a series of lectures and also a book launch from, for King and Court in Ancient Persia. Um, and this has been a marvellous thing for me, first of all, uh, to, you know, to meet uh, members of the Iranian community who are here in Britain, as well as uh, uh, local Scots and, and, and other Brits as well. Bringing all this kind of East-West mix together, uh, in, physically in the same space, is, is a wonderful thing. So I did a whole series of uh, different events. Uh, I began with a, a whole day uh, of a workshop on ancient Persia, in which we looked at some really key, fundamentally important texts. So we took those apart, disseminated them, uh, thought about what does it all mean, and there was a really, really good uh, discourse, good conversation, lots of questions being asked about some of these things, which um, some of which uh, some of my Iranian audience in particular thought they knew, but when they read it in translation properly, it completely blew their minds to what it really said. So that was really interesting to get a, uh, very often an Iranian feedback for some of these things. Well, what I always say about Dr. Jones is that he is a historian, that he is like a storyteller. So he says uh, stories uh, which at the same time that they are very academic, they are good for general audience as well. So people who don't have uh, a strong background of the ancient Persian history, they can understand what was the relationships between the kings, what uh, these dynasties mean to the Iranian culture, and what was the, the real history based on facts. I've enjoyed uh, mostly because I heard quite new things about my uh, the history of my country. Some parts were totally new to me. I think it is very important for lecturers uh, to have connection to outside the uh, university and transform their knowledge, their research to people outside. Uh, there are always people interested in these topics that they can't have access to university venues and bases. One of the things I really aim for is just accessibility. Um, all academics, of course, have a tendency to, to uh, look inwardly all the time and we could easily, within a discipline like ancient Persia, which is so specialised, uh, really keep this to ourselves within our small, small uh, academic community. But it's always been my mission uh, to, uh, to open up uh, this wonderful area of study to a, to a, a more general public. And what I've tried to do in things like King and Court in ancient Persia, but also in my lectures for the Iran festival, um, without ever dumbing down, is just to make things accessible, uh, to give people uh, a sense of what the study uh, is all about, um, how uh, spontaneous and how alive it is. Uh, it's not moribund, uh, and it's not also for just for specialists, that people can partake in it. I think these kind of events are very, very important. Um, so I think coming across this information in a more accessible way than just reading vast amounts of literature is often very difficult for people to comprehend and gain an idea of exactly how things are, um, especially in the ancient world, which is quite hard to gain an idea of. So I think in the event like today, anyone can come in. You don't have to. You don't have to know the subject beforehand. You don't. You know. You don't have to be a member of the Edinburgh University. Um, and it brings lots of different people together. I think it's great for us to be able to actually present uh, research in a very accessible way, both to the wider public as well as other colleagues who are not uh, necessarily in that area, and using these venues to, to inform and educate I think is really, really important. I just walked into the room and uh, all of a sudden I was absorbing this you know, very interesting talk about my, my country's history. What can be better than that? For me, who knew lots of stuff already, it, it was still very interesting because, because he gave, gave it his own kind of style of storytelling, which, was, I, which I found pretty interesting. I learned a lot to that, just coming from his lecture. Um, and it is an incredibly fascinating period, and Lloyd's enthusiasm for it is exactly what we need for people to kind of prize open the, 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 the way into these ancient worlds where these people were living real amazing lives. It was really amazing when I was uh, looking out from the podium at the audience in front of me uh, just to see the variety of, of, of people there, you know. So there were older people, 
there were very young people, there were some of my students who were there, uh, there were Iranians there, there were Scots, there were uh, Brits, there were Europeans. I mean, it really was a, a, an international consortium and I really liked that, that feeling and everybody brought something into the mix uh, which was uniquely theirs. You know, for somebody who studies the idea of, 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 of empire and how uh, ancient people uh, actually communicate and actually get on. Uh, this was a, a joy in itself just to see this diversity. So there needs to be more out there and I'm determined in whatever way I can to help the public access all this wonderful knowledge we have about ancient Persia. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.